Hey guys, it's Premier 91. I'm talking about Paper Mario. Why? Because remember how Paper Mario, after Sticker Star, actually from Sticker Star onward, it kind of changed not only a lot of things about it, but its entire genre. It went from RPG basically to action adventure. Mr. Kensuki Tanabe was talking to Eurogamer Germany, right? And he was talking about the team behind Paper Mario. And I'm not going to read everything he said, but he was talking about kind of why they changed their style when it came to Sicker Star. And I quote, when developing Mar Paper Mario Sicker Star, one of our goals was to move away a bit from the traditional RPG style. Nintendo has another RPG series starring Mario, and we wanted to distance ourselves from it by making an adventure game with a focus on solving puzzles. Even though we've stuck to that decision so far, we haven't decided yet whether or not we will keep doing so in the future. I want to keep developing Paper Mario games that are both in innovative and unique. Now, before I go on, I can say I understand that because they did have the Mario and Luigi games on the 3DS. So that made sense for the 3DS. To me, it didn't really make sense when you went to the Wii U and put Paper Mario Color Splash as more of an action adventure than an RPG because I don't think there are any Mario and Luigi games on the Wii U. So I don't understand exactly that. But continuing, the game for the element philosophy I've adopted from Mr. Miyamoto is developing innovative and unique gameplay systems. I'm not opposed to the fans' opinions. However, I view my game development philosophy as separate from that. If we use the same gameplay system wanted by the fans again and again, we wouldn't be able to surprise them or deliver new gameplay experiences. We always try our best to exceed expectations in surprising ways. At the same time, there's no guarantee that we'll always succeed in doing that. So it's a real challenge. Now... Here's where I'm a little bit off, because I'm not dissing Mr. Tanabe or anything. I mean, I understand. You want to try to be unique. That, that's fine. That's fine. But it's possible to be unique without changing a game genre. What I mean by that? Well, Super Mario Odyssey is actually a great way to show this. Super Mario Odyssey is very unique compared to the predecessors like Mario Sunshine and Mario 64. Yes, there are similarities, but Super Mario Odyssey really made its uniqueness. First of all, there's no hub world, unlike Mario Sunshine N64. Second of all, just the sheer size of the world is massive. Even after you beat the game, oh look, you still got all this stuff you can do. Like, there are three new worlds after you beat the game. The Mushroom Kingdom, the Darker Side of the Moon, and the Dark Side of the Moon. So what I'm saying is that there are ways to be unique without changing a genre. And I'm not saying it wouldn't have worked, but I just don't think it does. See, fans of like Mario Odyssey and Mario 64, we know those are action adventure games. We know those aren't too deep stories. They're kind of like simplified stories. You know, Princess gets, Peach gets kidnapped and Mario has to save her from Bowser. But Paper Mario, as its core, was an RPG. So I'm not saying that Tanabe is wrong. and I'm not saying that you, you definitely need to try to be unique, but you don't have to change a genre to do that. I believe had he, at least with Color Splash and Origami King, kept the same genre. I think Color Splash, even on the Wii U, would have been successful had it kept the same genre. But that's the problem. Fans have the problem is that when you change a genre, you change what fans are expecting from the game. And that's different than ch making a game unique. Because you can make your game unique and still keep it in, in its same genre. Anyway, I've gone on a bit of a rant here, but what do you guys think about what Tanabe had to say? And do you think that they're going the right route with these Paper Mario games? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe, and God bless you all.